Hi, it's Lori Larson. Today we're going to talk about how using a color scheme of five colors or less consistently throughout your slideshow will make you look more professional and more modern and also be more engaging. Remember, less is more. Uh, first, we're going to talk about how you do a custom color in Google Slides. Uh, I've used a website called colorlovers.com and uh, taking a look at one of the colors they have here, you need to copy a color and once you come back over here you go to uh, you can go to the text box you can go to the pale fill or if you click outside of a text box you can also go to background and pick a color um, I am going to use the text box go to custom and then you simply have to paste that color in there and it gives you that color once you have your colors selected, and I have preloaded them, as you can see, you can pick any color. Uh, that color will be here in the text box. It would be here in the pale area, or it will also be in the background area if you wanted to see what that might look like. And in this case, we don't like how that looks. The other thing you can do is you can change your font so that it looks more like a title font or an accent font. Come up here to fonts and you can click down here to more fonts. You can see display fonts. And we will just go with uh, bangers. And once you have that, uh, it will change it, but you'll also notice that it's right up here. And uh, finally, you might have a reason to use a transparent text box because maybe you have a complicated picture. So let's just see what that might look like. Uh, say I'm going to do something in white, like if I were using uh, this as one of my colors, Let's make this nice and big so you can see it. Uh, it might be really difficult to see. What I can do is I can use a transparent text box. I'm going to fill that color and uh, I suggest white. White is always a nice one to use. Then you need to go back to custom. Do not click transparent. Transparent will make it see through the opposite of what you're trying to do. Uh, you'll click the color and then you will select custom and this right bar here lets you have some transparency and I like anywhere from 25 to 50 percent and you can see uh, how that works That is how you adjust your custom colors and you can change your fonts and you can create a transparency box.